It's not the Apple store on Fifth Avenue in New York, but AT&T and Brian has its own camper the day before the release of the iPhone 5. I like to camp out quite a bit. Uh, I camp out for Madden, different things like that. But of course, the Madden is not quite as important as the iPhone 5 or 4 or 4S. This is the third iPhone Perry has set up a makeshift home in front of AT&T 4. But some of his friends still don't understand it. Some of them tell me I'm crazy, of course. Uh, some of them, uh, they stop by, bring food, water, whatever the case may be, whatever it is that I Need. The iPhone 5 features a bigger screen and higher speed LTE network. At Verizon and Brian, other non iPhone users are also interested. And we've got people that have never touched a smartphone before in their lives that are coming in here and saying, I want the iPhone 5. They really don't know why, but they know it's something for them and they're excited about it. Um, we're excited to put people into them. Critics say the iPhone 5 will likely use more data than older iPhones. Verizon's high speed LTE network uses 100 to 200 megabytes in only 10 minutes, but that hasn't stopped some people. People have been coming in and putting their names on lists and using upgrades and adding lines to their account to make sure they have one on launch day. But lists and pre-orders are one thing. Camping out is quite another. iPhones are so worth it to me. I've had pretty much every PDA they have known to man. Um, and hands down, I think iPhones, Apple makes a pretty darn good phone. So, I mean, it's worth all the money that goes into it, for sure.